The practice of short moments give us really a, such a powerful tool to allow all our data to be as it is. All our data, all our thoughts, emotions and sensations, allowing them just to naturally come up, be there and then just self-resolve. Just to, for a short moment of recognizing open intelligence, we allow everything to be as it is. And there are, of course, circumstances or data where we feel such a strong impulse to act. It's so natural and for everyone these strong impulses to act come up. And that's where we really see the power of a short moment in the power of training up in relying on open intelligence and allowing everything to be as it is. I thought that some of my my impulses to act like on anger or on desire or on all kinds of things were too strong for me to have complete ease within them that I'm just I will just act on them whenever whenever they come up and but what I found through coming to this training is that through the practice of um, short moments I can allow them completely be as they are and 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 have complete mastery over all my data streams and and what was really powerful for me is that that didn't just come from one day to another it was just by allowing myself to train up in open intelligence and taking the support of the four mainstays of the support structure of balanced view in in especially in those cases where it was really hard for me to relax my body and mind but then I saw so many examples of other people that that, that was possible and I'm like hmm wow I didn't know that that was possible that we can really relax and have a complete ease within all our data streams, even the ones that we thought it's impossible to be at ease with. And more and more I gained trust in that, just through my own direct experience in, in testing that out, testing that complete support structure of the four mainstays out and taking short moment whenever I naturally remember to do so. And then when I acted on something, I took short moments right there whenever I naturally remember to do so as well, with all the blame and, and criticizing myself for acting on something and all that, just right there. We can take a short moment right there as well. And more and more it becomes so much more easy to, to also see it in the moment of, of, of the strong impulses that I had a choice right there. More and more it become, became easy in that, choosing that I had really the power to choose how I want to use my mind, that there's no data stream that can, that, that can affect how I want to, af affect me how I want to relate or how I want to be in a circumstance. We have the power to choose and that's what we're opening up more and more through relying on open intelligence. That power that we just can basically choose in every moment how we want to use our mind. And, and that becomes more and more easy just in the process of getting familiar and relying on the um, four mainstays and on open intelligence. More and more that becomes natural to us because it is our natural state. We've just trained ourselves to act on these data streams all our life. And of course that's why they feel so strong and our impulse to act feels so strong. But we can now train ourselves to rely on open intelligence very easily because we have all the tools available right here. All the tools that we need, all the support that we need if we want to. And that's incredible that we all have that capability and ability to really allow everything to be as it is. And then it becomes really interesting. Then we really see all our data streams, but the magical to display of our data streams, we really get to know every data stream. What, what, what is it really actually? And I, I love the question also about um, stress and seeing wow sometimes the data streams of stress come up and then when we allow it to be as it is we realize wow actually there's maybe not as much to do or suddenly I'm much more capable of doing everything because I'm not so focused in on oh I have so much to do or I have this and that it's amazing we put so much energy and focus into that that we just, when we allow it to be as it is, we can use it completely to get things done and see how we want to effectively get everything done we need to do. It, it's, it's so powerful to see. That blew my mind because I often had also this experience of, wow, 
I feel so stressed, but actually I don't have so much to do. And sometimes, of course, we have so much to do. And what I realized also is that I can t completely relax with a whole list of to-do things. It's not the, the, my, my well-being and my ease will not depend on me finishing everything. I realized that at one point that I finished all my to-do list and I was like, yeah, I finished everything, but nothing changed. <laughs> like everything was the same, like, hey, hang on. I thought I would feel now more at ease and more relaxed and I just felt the same. And, and then I realized, okay, great, I can also really relax with so many things to do. It, it's amazing. Our, our, our ease is right there in, in the whole turmoil of loads of things to do or not to do. It's, it's really incredible. So in really, it is really in, in every moment. In every moment we can apply a short moment right there. And, and really getting to know ourselves as that ease and, and potency that we are. We are all so powerful when we just allow everything completely be as it is, not needing to put anything into a concept of how the world is or how it works. So if we have physical symptoms of, of ease or relaxedness or whatever it is, allow that to be as well as it is. Don't make it into something that that is what happens when I rely on open intelligence. Because then you limit yourself and just think, oh, only when I feel completely, my body is completely relaxed, then I'm relying on open intelligence. But it's within also being totally tense. So allowing everything to be as it is, not needing to make anything into something. Everything is the magical display of open intelligence, no matter what it is. And to try to put open intelligence into a box of something, like intuition or physical s symptoms or any concept will limit our experience completely, limit our ourselves of what is actually possible of, and actually what open intelligence is. Open intelligence is within every circumstance, in the negative, symptoms, uh, negative data as well as the positive and neutral, not needing to limit ourselves in any way. And sometimes we have the feeling of we, we know and sometimes we might have the feeling we don't know, and that is also open intelligence. So not putting it really into any concept right there, allowing it completely to be as it is. There we tap into our power, complete power, in seeing everything clearly as it is. Everything. Every data stream, the nature of all data stream. And the nature of all data stream is really that they just unpredictably arise, abide, and then they subside. Nothing for us needing to do um, with any of that process. We can just take complete responsibility <coughs> only in how we want to deal with our data. We don't have any responsibility in what will come next. It's unpredictable, so we can relax completely in that. But we can take responsibility, okay, what will I do when these data arise? Where's my go-to? Okay, open intelligence. I mean, I choose just open intelligence. I know now where my go-to is in that. I know where, where I go, can turn to to really extract the complete power of all data stream, of any data stream that comes up. And then we, we can see how, how we can really remain open-hearted in the face of all data. And it, it's amazing when we relate with people. Of course, many things come up. And what I found so powerful is to take complete responsibility for my data when, when I'm in a social circumstance. Sometimes anger comes up, or this person, why is he acting like that towards me? Why is he not open? And just taking complete responsibility for my data and see what, what happens from there. Then we tap into our complete um, capability to, to act in an open-hearted way. And that can, that can look in any way. It can be completely direct or just completely open and loving and caring or whatever it might be. But the open-heartedness is to completely take responsibility for my data so I will not act out of any data of anger or feeling of rejection or feeling it should be like that. Allowing all these data to be as it is and seeing that from there we know how to act and how to be in a circumstance. Always open-hearted and just completely clear in what serves this circumstance best. That we can completely rely on and trust. 
our um, ability to do that. And that's just opening up more and more in, 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 in just coming back to taking this choice of how, how we want to relate to our data, how we want to use our mind and our potency of, of open intelligence. There's so much power within every data stream and, and we just get to open up that power more and more so we can use it for the benefit of all. Use it for our own benefit and the benefit of all. Just becoming more and more at ease within all circumstances. More and more um, joy in, in being alive and, and contributing our strengths, gifts and talents more and more opening up to the love for, for everyone. And it's, it's really beautiful how we, I mean, before I came to the training, I was so into wanting to fall in love all the time because I love this feeling of just falling in love and then you fall in love and you think that's the one and will marry, have children and all that, those, those ideas. I mean, th they are so natural to, to everyone and, and I was completely addicted to that one. But now I see that Wow, the more I rest with all these desires of, of, of needing something to be in place, to feel love and to, to feel complete life satisfaction, I see, wow, I can allow them completely to be as it is, all these subtle um, data streams and just open up completely, seeing that my love is not fixated or just on one person or one small circle of a, a, a um, family unit or anything. My love just opens up completely in, 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 in allowing it just to settle and, and really settle us deeply into that love that is just so pervasive that we all feel. But because what we feel is when we fall in love, we, we allow ourselves to feel that completely, that love for everyone, basically. We just allow ourselves to feel that in that moment and with that person. But when we rest deeply, we can we open up that completely. And then, of course, it's, it's also beautiful to love one person, and it doesn't mean that we don't love a person and maybe choose to be in a relationship, but it's just that openness to just open up that love for everyone. I saw that completely, that this just allowed me to just love any... like, open that up for everyone. It's just such a powerful demonstration of... of not limiting ourselves in any way. And that there's complete care and, and, and um, yeah, that there's so much capacity, so much capacity to love we have, each one of us. And we open up that completely.